off the night gamma. Easy. There we go. And off skis. So the timer will be like three seconds behind. I do apologize. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, because I've just realized that it wasn't correct. So off go the lovely Polish people. Pavel. Going to set up his little MG. Flinging rockets. Ball short. Retaliating rocket. Oh, a little bit too far north. Oh. Ooh. Be, be careful. Be careful with them saucy rockets. So, let's go to the battle for the mid. So... The Swiss a little bit hesitant making their way up to the mid because this is a very, you know, it's a very equal point of checkpoint as a ghost just does some ghost shooting. Takes juice. Yep, juice is definitely dead. Well done, well done, well done. Let's go out. Oh, need North squad completely reset for the Swiss. Just scooch out. Oh, no, there's the OP. Oh, need. There's one, two down. Raced MG. <laughs> oh, oh, and he can. <laughs> we do love a braced MG. Ah. Oh. OP. Let's go south. To the mid and the south. Aussie, the sneaky little Swiss. Coming here with all his Swissiness. Yes, very nice, very nice. Pew pew. Oh, he doesn't see Pavel. Doesn't see Pavel right there. Oh, you, you see him now, come on. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, they don't have spec servers in Switzerland apparently. <laughs> oh, but they do in Poland. Farion with the kill. Let's go to mid. So the Swiss very hesitant. They seem to be very hesitant with their push up the the creek. As offline sees Yuki. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, poor little man. Let's go to Ratio. Ratio actually played a really good game for the uh, lovely people of Hated uh, recently against Stostrup on a Balkan. Uh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Wrong time. <laughs> Wrong timing, man. Oh, God. That was bad. That was bad. Um, right, so. Yes, yeah, so he did play a lovely game for the for Hated against STDB. It was a really good match. Um, Hated didn't really give STDB much of a chance during that game, but a valiant effort nonetheless from STDB. Uh, but back to tonight's match. The Polish are pushing their way across the northern field. They've got complete control of the north, so it's going to be difficult for the Swiss to regain any sort of control there in that area. You know, you're going to have to first get to... We'll just try and keep the other action in here as well whilst we're scooting about. So this road here, you see, march again, going towards... Um, you have to sort of get to here first, gain sort of control of the hedgerow where you see need in, and then you got an awful lot of open ground to proceed across. You can use this little northern section. It's like right on the border, right here. Um... You know, so you have to be very careful. Use your 10 seconds grace to gain some ground there. But ultimately, you do need control of this hedgerow and to try and try and push out of it. The the Polish so are really pushing right into this mid as well. Now that they've got control of the north, they are holding the south, but just not 
Now, obviously, we don't really need to push much further than this because they've got such open, such a large bit of open ground here between them and the west that they don't actually need to, you know, they can just sit there and just be happy little campers. Quite literally just sit and camp, you know, just, just wait for somebody to try and walk across the open field. All the camping. <laughs> Offline. There's some pew-pews. Oh. Ziegel. Oh, but Levin did he uh, takes him out from a refuse. Grenade. Where did he get shot from? The fuck? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, we'll just... Let's go to big picture again. Polish in complete control here in the mid. Complete control here for the Polish. They've been pushed back a little bit from this hedge, but there's nothing really coming much from the Swiss uh, to really gain any sort of ground here. Watch again. Have a little, a little relax in the little, in the little bill. Is Pavel going to cause a bit of upset here for the, for the Swiss? No, he gets seen by Jesus. Gets to oh, but Knight Rider. Farion. Oh, look at this. No, man. I was going to say, what the hell? It's WTH running across the open. But one man from WTH. Grenade. You better get rid of it. Oh, close, close, close. Not bad, not bad. Well, here we are now, the, the Polish have gained complete control here in the south. We're starting to see the workings of a box out seven minutes in. Seven and a half minutes, apologies. Um, as Slavic guy runs across the open. <laughs> and jumps, get shot. Let's go back down to this midsection fight here that's going to be happening. I think this is where most of our actions are now going to be concentrated for the remainder of this evening's bout. Pavel encroaches further, so closer towards this, is he? Oh, did he get? Nope. Grenade. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> How unfortunate, they probably didn't even hear the grenade landing next to them, the two that spawned in, so... Oh, that was so unfortunate. Oh, the poor buggers. That was a lovely grenade, though. Really lovely grenade. Well done. <laughs> oh. Very good. Wojtek. And Zigili. Zigili goes down. Uh, Mitch again. Mitch again. Mitch again. Mitch again. Up and down there, like a pair of hoose niggers. Yes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I don't know how people, people like, must be on drugs or something to be like, cause I just can't do the whole. You know, <laughs> people are like, oh, easy, are you having an epileptic fit? I'm like, no, I'm trying to do the wiggly thing. Careful with those rockets, though, in case they go towards Garrison's. Oh, but Hobie got taken out by offline. And a rising Valhalla and a <laughs> almost takes his own man, Knight Rider 69, but a 69 young Pavel.
and Pavel peaks, shoots, takes Aratia and also Verusk. Here we have another little sprawn wave. Oh, Pavel gets taken down. Precisely, yep, yep, 100%, 100%. See, see. <laughs> see, senor. MP just, just waiting, holding. Yes, you heard it. Grenade goes out. It just mirrors like the grenade like animation seem like you know the throwing animation all seems weird at the minute. Like whenever they like overarm throw, it's like as if the grenade comes from their dick. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just fucking stupid or something. So right. Complete control of the south. Bit of ground, maybe possible for the uh, the Swiss to take if they can if they can move sh swiftly through the north section here. Maybe get into these little gardens, try and do something. But I think we're going to be stuck in the creek meat grind as Farion gets taken out. Like, look at this, like, look at how far back these OPs are from, like, you know, just really good OP placement. And as I like, a lot of teams seem to struggle to, you know, identify when they can really, like, they're supposed to take out a handful of people, but they don't, they don't have enough people there to, like, maintain any sort of push or momentum that could take them even... 10 15 meters forward you know sort of just keep leapfrogging try and make some ground tempi and slay heading past here's livid 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 not livid natash livid natash takes lazy pablo turns peaks woods gets shot by slay great shot from slay And that's this is the worst position to try and get moving because like just look at look at all these blue dots they're everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, you know, so you can be shot from so many angles, so many different people can see you at one time. You just it's a shit sandwich, but it's with a good CD granary bread. Like you know, it's good proper loaf, but it's just it's still shit stuck in the sandwich. Shit sandwich. Jesus gets taken down there. Tempe. Tempe goes down to Hobby or Marchigan. Ghost. Takes one. Gets taken by Ar Arethia. Kevin's don't accidentally call him like urethra or something, you know, like a little pee bit where your pee comes out. Yeah. Um here we go. Step by step. Let's see how far we can get. That's actually a song from one of my kids' toys. Like a little walker thing, you know, and they hold on to it. Go on, go on little Aretha. Slay goes down, and so does Ruth. Marchigian, Tempe. Ah, what a shot from Tempe. Just hears the shoots, turns, and shoots him in the back. Really good play so far from the Polish, but. Go on, you little champion, you. Vaskis. Just have a little chill. Oh, yeah, you're seen. No, you're not. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, sneaky little granada. So could we potentially see something coming from the north here for the for the Swiss? Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Um, no, they managed to get up to the. Ah, uh, that was a bit. A bit of a bit of a wasted rocket, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's just giving away. Bit more position uh, wasn't as bad, but yeah, I think he got caught out by a hitbox there. Had it come right in between the two of them, would have been a good one. But just how it happens, living that house. Dead. Aretha. Can I do anything? Tempe. Squad lead on squad lead violence, maybe. We did get it, but look at this, they have started to gain control of the hedgerow that we discussed earlier. Jesus is in the, the, the trench, but he needs to be so careful here because no, it's actually not a bad spot. Can't be seen here. Caxi. Is the, uh, the OP quite far back anyway, so it's... A very defensive OP. But a great effort though nonetheless for them to actually get back to this point if if they can smoke real giveaway that you're within pissing distance of the smoke itself. Oh Yugi gets taken down though but I really want to see them make some ground here because they've been fucking plucky so they have, you know, he's... However though... Sure, surely you can see them. No? Okay, oh no, no, actually you can't... Uh, better. Oh! Arrhythmus! I just... Yeah, oh, there we go, they got him! Jesus! Radio. Come on, come on, Chanel, Chanel! Oh, oh no, hold on. Oh, Slavic guy. Has his underpants on the right way around. Oh. Oh. So they're starting to make some ground. Like, they can move so much. You're like, move, 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 move. Go, go, go. Get them Swiss little legs going. Because now... Again. Oh, great, great stuff from Oreskes. Cap wait for the Swiss. Defending. Virush in the mid. Starting to make some ground. Rockets. Are we potentially going to see something here? If they gain control of this house, then they have a really good chance, but they need to keep up the momentum now that they've got it. As Arithia takes out Farion. Arithia goes down. They need to get it wriggly wiggly on. Life Taub. It's key now that they do not. Oh, traded. But Deuce comes back. It's just sitting in the house. Yeah, he's gonna be. He's gonna be pushed really, really hard here by the Polish. Still ten minutes ago, so anything can happen. But they're starting to lose that little bit of momentum that they had going forward. And you see the Polish just. Starting to make a little bit of difference. Another trade. They've traded, but they are. We've still got juice. Let's go in. Let's go to. Let's go to. Yeah.
Oh, they passed each other. <laughs> oh, he took him out. He took out Kexi. Oh, they passed each other on the stairs. Rocket goes in through into the second floor from a red bar. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's so unfortunate. They had a, they had a great opportunity there to actually like sort of push through. But uh, they just weren't able to you know to continue the momentum. Ah, that's a shame. That is a shame. But they've now gained control of the house again for the Polish. Horatio is still in the. Uh, Reto is still in the back of the plane, but we've got mid, mid madness. Two dead, three dead, sorry, four dead. Can't count. Half tab. I did see them throw a grenade. I don't know if that was maybe their own grenade that killed them. If it was, that was perfect. Well, it wasn't perfect for them, but it was perfect for us as viewers. We enjoyed that. Uh, oh, the OP. Oh, go on. Juice. Flamin' Vepa. And. Dead. And rocket. <laughs> so many Swiss. Just all tramped into one area. The Polish with a bit of a better spread on. The sort of spread your grandmother would put on for whenever there's fancy guests coming over. But again, yeah, they've lost this northern push. They lost the OP that was in the trenches. Um, just weren't able to keep the momentum up. The flamethrower is... Oh, ho, 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 big rocket. And a flamethrower. Careful. Oh! <laughs> Scooching flames. Scooching everywhere. Oh. Me! <laughs> Obviously, tried a job. Died mid jump. Oh god. Flames. Flames. So many lovely flames. Hmm. So are we having a chin chat, are we? Oh yeah, they pushed right up to the OP. OP is gone. Yes, CC. Oh god. Offline's just doing so much damage there. Rising Valhalla throws the grenade. Oh, careful little. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, yeah, but he. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man. Grenade madness. All the madness. But yeah, so it's. I don't. I, after that, I don't. I don't really see the Swiss coming back from this, which is a shame because they had such a good thing going in the north. They even had a bit of cap weight, and then, you know, just with some great work from the Polish, they managed to push them back out of this northern house. Um. Then we've obviously had some lovely flame stuff in the middle, all the fire. But they're just not. They're just not in a position like, to to really push through this Polish defense now. You're gonna to need to be able to pull some amount of miracles from your from your bottom. So we get another little spawn. Here goes Arithia. Arithia has been a source of our avid entertainment tonight. Gets taken out though by Faron. Knife towel. 
with the MG just to spray and there goes the flamethrower through the gap. Oh, what a shame. Dios. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I was never a fan of the flamethrower. You see when you see it in little moments, I guess, and it's like, oh, this is actually quite good. And I think we are going to lose another Swiss OP if we haven't lost it already. No, what? Oh god. Oh, f oh so the Swiss Swiss left to fight another day. Obviously the OP is hidden in bush. And um, Farian just didn't notice it. And casually went past it. Good stuff. Really, all the infantry marks in the mid. Someone running around there with a trench gun. Oh, here comes the flamethrower again. <laughs> Crying out loud. Oh, dear. Pavel finally gets taken out. That's the thing. Maybe the reason I don't like the flamethrower is because I've never... You know, I've just got serious skill issues and I don't have the, don't, never get the opportunity to use it in such an ornate fashion. As what you've seen Pavel doing here. Rocket. So three minutes and twenty seconds to go. I want more flamethrowers. I want more grenades. Oh, they're completely. There is average. If this man just uses his head for thinking, his feet for dancing. Can he make some? He's gonna have to hurry up though about it. Like, gonna have to look in Chanel and all that sort of stuff. The, oh, there is a hot OP in the mid. I can't show. Go on, go on, you boy. Make it interesting. Take it to the wire. Oh, come on, do it. Takes Slavic. Takes Red. Come here, handsome wee bugger, you. Give us some juice and stuff to look at. Oh, he has been spotted. That sounded like a grenade. It was a grenade. Another grenade. Oh. Oh, he's putting up his OP. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. So unfortunate. He did, he definitely didn't, yeah, there's no OP in there, okay. Oh, what a shame. It was a great effort, though, from the man. And with a minute and 19 on the clock, I think it is going to be curtains here. <laughs> Big rocket from Slay, Christ Almighty. Um, yeah, there we are. That's completely held in the north, completely held in the mid, and completely held in the south. But they are still trying here, the Swiss. Um, Thirty seconds to go. Yeah, that's it completely over now, boys. Oh, but that has been lovely. It's been a nice little match between the between the Polish and the 
Swiss? Looking forward to seeing more international stuff. Again. I think I'm a third one now. 